All right, so we got in this box. <clears throat> this is not that Sportster motor anymore. Popcorn. Messy. I don't like popcorn. Messy. All right, let's see what we got in here. Cylinder. Oh, this for one cylinder. It's a flathead cylinder for this much work. Yeah, it looks like a flathead cylinder. Big flathead. Big twin. Oh, yeah, definitely a big twin. Yep, that was it. All that for one thing. I definitely packed it good. That's a pump cylinder. There we go. One big ass front cylinder. The VL. Uh, looks like a VL cylinder. Nope, UL38. Got all the fins on it. Good sign. Intake spigot looks nice. Bore's a little chunky right there, not too bad. Kind of thin. Valves aren't sunk too awful bad. All the head bolts are there. The gasket surface isn't too rusty. Just surface rust, nothing big right there. The inside has some rust in it. Yeah, it's definitely got some rust in that. Yep. Not chronically, but it's getting there. The overall doesn't look too awful bad, but I don't know how much bore is left in that thing. Let's see here. Well, I guess this is pretty big. Yeah, not as bad as I thought it would be. 460. Way better than I thought it was going to be. Four fifty five on this side. Four fifty eight on that side. Four sixty. So Thirty over. Not bad. This is a seventy four inch cylinder. It looks like. And Eleven fan two four. Six, eight, ten, eleven. Whoa, 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 what's that is not good there. Ooh, that is bad. Ooh, that is bad. She's broken. Junk cylinder. Yes, sir. Right there. Come up the side right here too. It's been repaired. They didn't repair the bad part. They didn't repair all of that. Well, that means I didn't get a very good deal, I bet. Hopefully I didn't pay a lot for this, because this thing is definitely in need of some serious repair. This got to have a sleeve put in it. And you might as well just break off the bad part because that would be bad. Eh, I might leave it. Who knows? Definitely gotta put some braids in here to hold it together right there. This is not gonna be a big bore, so it's gonna have to go all the way back down to a 74 inch bore, which is gonna be 3 and 5 16 bore. Which is 4.320. 
not 4.460 like it is right now. Stock bores, 516s. It's way down here. See, it's been overboard a lot, see? When you go back to a standard sleeve in this thing, that'll really tie this all back together so you don't have to worry about this being broken. It is a 74 cylinder, and it is a nice looking cylinder, other than it's broken. It's broken badly. Not sure they broke that, but obviously they fixed it, tried to fix it, they welded on it. But, uh, oh well. Looks really nice on this side. Alright, well, it is what it is. It's going to have to be cleaned up and definitely put a big sleeve in it. But, uh, be, good, be a good sound when you're done, because it's going to be thick enough, it won't matter. It'll be eighth wall sleeve. You know, plenty of strength. But, uh, oh well. I just don't like small motors. But, uh, Alright, well, there you go. Front UL cylinder. Not a ULH. ULH should be 80. So, not sure the year of it. This looks early the way this is made. So, I'm guessing this is probably a 30 cylinder. Pre war. We're going to call it pre war. Just looks different. So, all right. There you go. It is what it is.